Hello again, it's Raven, and I'm here with Infinite and his ship, so tell me all about it, man. This is the Royal Guardian Frigate. I have no idea why I called it that, but... <laughs> so, uh, it's 146 meters long, 33 high, and 41 wide. And uh, as you can see, it's... Well, you judge, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. I can't lie. I think... Thank see, you. I like the fact that you started using negative space in there. Um, in the back, with the ice crystal underneath. That's yeah. nice. That's something... Never give that particular, you know, flare up. Um, let's see here. I would say, maybe... I mean, I like the fact that you're using white, because it makes it look like it's a consular sort of escort guardian type thing, which seems yeah. to be what you're going for. And yeah. I'll assume that your your turrets are kind of glitched right now. But yeah, that's, that's sort right. of a weird angle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all good. It actually kind of looks cool like that. I won't lie. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Um, but I would say maybe towards the front, um, if you can see where my core is. Yeah, I see. It. Maybe try to inlay some like black wedges to spell out or to put in a number or something like that. Something to, yeah, to distinguish good, it because yeah. while it is a really nice clean design and clean designs... It's there's a tough spot between not enough detail, and if you're doing a clean design, you can you can kind of get away with not detailing certain parts, but yeah. you still want to obviously detail to an extent. So I would say maybe just try adding in a little bit there, you know, on the front or along, you know, you've got these big white panels. Yeah, I see. And you have those those lines differentiating, and that's great. Like that's awesome. But maybe just try to incorporate a little bit of markings or something like that because it seems to be the kind of style you're going for. And actually, right back here, this is a nice big white plate that you can use. I think this one would even be better to use. Yeah. Because then you've got this clean front end. You could do maybe like um, a numbering system. You know, if you just sort of say, all right, all my numbers are going to be like three or five by three five high by three wide that tends to be how i do it or five by five or three by three three by three gets a little bit weird i won't lie because twos and fives don't work but yeah <laughs> well yeah they don't really work so usually it's like five by three and that works fine and you could do maybe like a, a numbering system here and it'd be very easy to go zero zero one and then change that to zero zero two as you go and that'll, that'll easily do it. And you can even just do it on one side to make it asymmetrical and keep your life a lot easier <laughs> later on. And then, then in the back, if you end up with an insignia, put it in the back. Um, but that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that might take you a little while. I do like the general design. It's got a... You know what I like about this? It's really, really simple. It's not a freaking cube. And it's not <laughs> just a pillar. Like, you, you've yeah. added wingy bits like a good person. See, there are many, many evil people <laughs> out there who refuse to add wingy bits, and it's just tra a travesty. Um, but yeah, beyond that, like you, you're you using negative space really, really well. I like the double uh, arch or, uh, struts here. Yep. Don't see that very often. I started doing that with a few of my wings because it looks really cool, in my opinion. And it looks like you even have a small interior. Yeah, it's a small one, just a corridor. There's actually a sort of a... Yeah, I'm just cruising through it in build mode, check it out. Yeah, there's a small hangar, and yeah. just a long corridor. But you see on the sides, there's some doors in the corridor. Yeah. If you, like, uh, if you could go in, like, player mode, and go inside those doors. I want to show you something interesting. Shoots? Well, there were, like, they started off as cryopods, and I just thought, you put a plexus underneath it, shoot down. Yeah. Did I just hold on? I don't know what the heck just happened. Stupidity just happened. Yay for tests. Well, yeah. You just walked. Yeah, I, I had to. I got stuck in something somehow. I don't. I don't really know how. There we go. Okay, let's, let's get in here. I'll jump and grab you real quick. Do, 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 do. 
There we are. All right. I'm not stuck in a door. This is a plus. Yeah. All right. So where am I headed? These doors to the side of you. Now just look down and press R. Yeah, they're little escape shoots. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I, I remember talking to Calbiri about that at one point. He was basically just saying, "Look, you can, you know, you can do that and grab a core on your way out, jump in it and fly away if your ship is going under." You know, it's, yeah. it's not that hard of a thing to do, and it works just fine. When people were like, "Can we get cores that that do all that stuff in gravity?" It's like, "Why? You don't need it." Um. But yeah, let's see here. We got a nice little corridor going up to a bridge. Yep. I would almost say put a plex door between the two cl furthest towards the back blue lights right before you get the ice crystal. Just oh, yeah. to differentiate the bridge area. Or actually, no, because you do come up. Mm, it's kind of a tough one. Because I'd almost say try to differentiate the two spots a little bit from the corridor to there by okay. like, making a small door. Because then it's it's almost like the the way I'm kind of thinking of it in, thinking of it is like the cockpit of an airplane. At the front end, yeah, it, you've got. I see. Yeah. Yeah, and that way it's like, all right, this is the corridor. This is where you go to do this, that, and the other, or you know, do whatever. But over here, this is where you steer from. So we're gonna try to you know change that out. That way, if you have any malcontents yeah. sitting in the back of your ship, <laughs> possibly stuck in the launch tubes so that you know if they cause problems you just eject them into space without their helmets and then you don't have any problems of course um but that way you could you know it just it just gives it a little bit more more of a of a, of a cockpit type feel or a bridge-esque feel yeah i'll do that definitely yeah i like it it's it's got a really nice clean line and i like the uh the top bit that you've got there with the uh the wingy bit on the top nice work there it's got a nice it, it has a uh what i would call a sentry or a guard type feel to it yeah it looks like it's okay. quick yeah it looks like it can handle itself and and it would be an escort type cruiser yep for lack of a better term that's that's really good and the best part about that is, you wouldn't have even had to tell me that. I would have guessed Escort Cruiser, which means that you've made a good Escort Cruiser. Thank you. <laughs> um, I would just, you know, just adding those little bits is going to just take it to that next level, I think. Especially as you would assume you'd have maybe two for a, you know, a decently sized capital ship, right? Something like that. Yep. One on either side, maybe even three, depending on the size of it. So if you have the numberings to differentiate, and all you'd have to do is, you know, say zero, zero, one, and leave enough space to do a two, three, four, however many you need, or maybe it's like 100 or, you know, just pick a number to start with, whatever sounds good. Yep. Um, I'm partial to 458, but then again, that's because of a certain book and how you like paper on fire. Um, I think that's the right one. Is it 458 or 429? I don't. I don't freaking remember. Whatever it is, Fahrenheit. Uh, uh, sometimes that's annoying, but yeah, um, yeah. I think I think you've got a really solid design here, and you've already done most of the legwork. Just little bits will uh, will really bring it home. Okay. Thanks. That being said, um, all right. So in that case, thanks for showing me the ship. No problem. And for those of you watching, thanks for watching, and we will see you again, as always, next time.